doing it, teacher? Hi, Rolando. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, that's you? great. I'm perfect. Thanks for asking me. How was your day? Uh, I am very busy. Okay, it was really busy. I'm sorry really to hear that. So you must be tired and sleepy tonight. A Are little you? tired. <laughs> ah, okay. I uh, understand. Hello, Graciela. Good evening. Stephanie, good evening. Welcome to the class. Ah, voy aprovechando, que está, aprovechando que está Karen. Ah, no, ya se fue Karen Murillo. <laughs> ah, sí, solo viene a revisar que no, estamos con quería. Quería cambiar de correo electrónico, pero ahí le voy a llamar a ellos. Ah, ok. Ok, that's great. Ya no le gustó Osito Bonito, guión bajo, 39. <risa> Así, <risa> igual, que, igual que un compañero había puesto, como había puesto, se llama, pero se había puesto el, 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 el diminutivo, algo así como Oscarito. ¿eh? Ah, ok. Oscarito no sé qué cosa. Y después quizás se dio cuenta, va y, y lo cambió, pero ya lo había por leído. <risa> qué mala suerte. Así que ahí le vamos a estar diciendo Oscarito. Oscarito es nombre ficticio, acuérdate que ah, es nombre real. El nombre real, de él. Y no es Oscar, el que está acá. <risa> ah, ok. Hello, Yancy. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Eh, ayer, bueno, todavía, todavía estoy un poco enferma. Pero yo creo que ahora sí tengo más posibilidades de, de hablar. Lo que sucede es que he estado con mucho, con mucha... Bueno, creo yo que gripe, nada más, pero no, bueno, como no tengo posibilidades de seguro, entonces no tengo posibilidades de constancia, pero sí ya terminé la plataforma, teacher, solo hay un ejercicio que, que ahora que me he sentido mejor, he trabajado, ayer trabajé, a pesar de que no me sentía tan bien. Ok, um... Bueno, muchas Un gracias. Un ejercicio, es todo lo que me hace falta. Ok. Ya sí, si me extraña. <ríe> bueno, ya sí, agradecer su compromiso, ¿verdad? A pesar de que ha estado enferma, pues ha estado pendiente del trabajo de la plataforma. Y that's great. Eso es grandioso, ¿verdad? Thank you so much, Yancy. Eh, sí, Jacqueline. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Mm, I'm fine. Okay, let's start with tonight's class then. Tonight we're going to see the next topic. Let me share with you the presentation. Present perfect versus simple past. That is the topic for tonight. Present perfect versus simple past. So welcome to the class uh, 14. After this class, um, we are going to have just two more classes. We are going to end the next Thursday. Eh, no se les olvide, por favor, que antes de la medianoche del jueves, no, antes de la última clase, el día jueves, todo tiene que estar terminado. Eh, todos los ejercicios de la plataforma y el examen también, el examen final. So let's start. This is the lesson, uh, the lesson activity for tonight. In this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. But before to go to this topic, um, yesterday we were talking about this, right? De la pronunciación de los verbos regulares. Tenían dudas acerca de eso ayer. Eh, Oscar me pidió ayer que si podíamos ver este tema, pero parece que no se ha podido conectar el día de hoy. Oh, But, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we are going to study this tonight. Simple past form of regular verbs. Eh, para los verbos regulares necesitamos seguir uh, unas pequeñas reglas, ¿verdad? 
para hacer el pasado de estos verbos. Simple past form of regular verbs. And here is the first one. La primera regla es esta. Regular past simple ten, things is formed by adding ed to the verb. A estos verbos vamos a agregarles ed. Vamos a agregarle ed para hacer el pasado. Like love, watch, started, called, and listen. A la mayoría de ellos, we need just to add ed. And no problem. Pero hay algunas excepciones. Look at rule number two. If the verb ends in E, you just add D. Si el verbo termina en E, solo agregamos la letra D. Like, for example, light, agreed, baked, escaped. Solo agregamos la D. ¿verdad? Ya el verbo termina en E, agregamos D. Rule number three. If the verb ends in a consonant plus y, you take off the y and add i, e, d. Si el verbo termina en una consonante más una y, tenemos que eliminar esa y y agregar i, e, d. Like, for example, carry, carry, try, try, fry, fried, cry, cried. Do you have any question about these three rules? Preguntas? No question, teacher. No question. Okay, thank you, Rolando. Then I have another two rules here. And the rule number four. But if a verb ends in a vowel, in a vowel plus y, you just add ed. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más y, solo vamos a agregar ed. No necesitamos quitar la y. Vocal más Y, no la quitamos. Solo agregamos R. We just add it. For example, play, prayed, enjoyed, and delayed. When a one-syllable verse ends in vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ED. Look at this example. Si tenemos esta combinación en un verbo de una sílaba, like stop. Tiene esta combinación consonante, vocal, consonante. Vamos a duplicar la segunda consonante. Stop, plant, hop, and bet. Question in this part? Do you have any question? No, no question. No question. No question. Nice. Then let's go with this. I have a little practice here. Let's see, watch. ¿Qué necesito? Watch it. ED. ED. We need ED. to add just ED. And the next? D. Just D. Number three? D. D. Okay. A number four? W, P, A, D. Okay. Excellent. Double the P and add ED. Thanks. Number five? W -I. Cooked, I. Uh, do I need to double the K? In this no, no, case? no, 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 no. Solo cooked. ED. Ah, okay. ED. We just need ED. And the last one. ED. ED, are you sure? The first. No, 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 no. Agregar vocal. I, ED. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. We need to take off the Y there and add IED. Okay, thank you. So he watched a movie last night. Sam used the computer an hour ago. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. Who chopped the wood outside? Dan cooked dinner for us last week and it cried the whole night. Now let's go with pronunciation. Now simple past ed endings. This is the a little bit difficult part in this topic. La terminación ed de los verbos regulares en pasado termina en tres sonidos. It has three sounds. So let's listen this explanation. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. 
stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Estos son los tres sonidos de d and id. Podríamos escucharlos otra vez, por favor. Yes, of course. Why not? Here we go. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Ok, now, ¿cómo vamos a saber cuándo pronunciar sound, sound and it? We are going to study these, these verbs and in this part. Well, we are going to come back to this. Look at this, walked. Eh, last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived. And I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. En el primer verbo, walked. Is it, T sound, D sound, or it sound? Second sound. You say D? Mm -hmm. You say walked or walked? First song. Ah, okay. Let's Work. listen again. Last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. So the first sound is this. Look at this. Walked, glanced, with T at the end. The next one, a ride, ordered, with D sound. Y los últimos dos verbos, handed and tasted. And tasted. Now, why do you pronounce this in this way? Here is the explanation. How I am going to pronounce ED sound in regular verbs in simple past. If the verb ends in a T or a D sound, use the IT ending. Si el verbo termina en sonido de T o de D, vamos a utilizar el sonido IT. For example, want it. Want termina en sonido de T, want. Then we say want it. Need, sonido de de, the D sound, need, need it. When we are going to pronounce sound, sound, any of the verbs that end in this voiceless sound. Cualquier verbo que termine en P, K, F, S, S, H, C, H, or T, H sound. We are going to pronounce T. At the end, like held, washed. And we are going to pronounce the D sound with any verb that ends with a vowel sound or with sound. Vamos a pronunciar D con todos los verbos que terminan en vocal y los siguientes sonidos. L, M, N, J, R, G, V. B, V, W, and Z. For example, cold and play. Do you have any question in this part? Then and don't forget. Vamos a utilizar el sonido it al final de los verbos regulares cuando estos terminan en sonido de T o de D. Vamos a utilizar el sonido de la T de si el verbo termina en la siguiente en el sonido de las siguientes letras p k f s c h s a c h or t h y vamos a utilizar el sonido de 
Si los verbos terminan en L, M, N, J, R, G, B, G, sorry, G, V, V, and W, and Z, too. Questions? No hay preguntas? No question. Okay, now can you help me try to pronounce this correctly? Who wants to try reading this paragraph? Try to well, pronounce. Well, okay. Thank you, Xiomara. Can you read the paragraph? Okay. Last weekend I walked to my favorite restaurant when I got that I clowns through the menu. The writer arrived and ordered a stick. After dinner, dinner, the waiter handed, handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tastes great. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Very good try. So here is Walt. Walt glanced arrived, ordered, handed, and tasted. Thank you, Sumana. Excellent job. Any Teacher. other volunteer? Yes? Teacher, repeat again. Uh, gla glass? Please. Glanced. Glanced. Uh, glan Glanced. Okay, thank you. Okay. Eso es dar una mirada rápida. So, de parecer, last weekend, el fin de semana pasado, caminé a mi restaurante favorito. Cuando llegué ahí, le di una mirada al menú. The waiter arrived. El mesero llegó y ordené un, un filete, un stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. Después de la cena, el mesero me dio la cuenta. Me fui feliz porque mi comida sabía Estuvo grandiosa. Supo deliciosa. Taste it. Any other volunteer to read this paragraph? Just one. Just one more. Who wants to help me? Can you please, Suleyma? Okay. Last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got her there, I want, I glanced throughout the menu. The water arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So don't forget about these three sounds. Walt, oh sorry. Walt glanced, arrived, ordered, handed, and tasted. Okay, thank you so much for your help. Do you have any question? Acerca de cómo pronunciar el final de los verbos regulares en pasado simple. Is it clear now? Or do you still have doubt about this topic? I think I need more practicing. Okay, yes, right. Practice is important. So you maybe you can look for a video or an audio in which you can listen the past sound of the version for you to practice. Any other comment? Any other doubt? Question? No? If no, let's start with this, right? Okay, let's come back then to the present perfect. Tonight we're going to start the present perfect versus simple past. And we're going to start with this conversation. Um, let's listen this conversation. Can you see the conversation? Yes, I can. Yes. Wow. yes. Okay. Okay. Let's listen then. 
I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, now let's see the first question. Have you been here long? It's a simple past or present perfect. Present perfect. Yes. Present perfect. Present perfect. Have you been here long? So, no, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Simple past or present perfect. Present perfect. Present, present perfect. Present perfect again. Have you choose a restaurant yet? I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? It means alguna vez has comido comida de Marruecos? You say, no, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Ya lo he hecho varias veces. Es delicioso. Ya, la, ya he comido bastante, varias veces. Yeah. How about Thai food? ¿Qué hay de la comida tailandesa? Have you ever had green curry? ¿Alguna vez has comido curry verde? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. Now, I, the, this answer is in simple past. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. So in this conversation, we can see the present perfect and also the simple past. In the next slide, we're going to learn the difference between these two tenses. But before to go to that, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Let's listen again and pay attention to the pronunciation and then we're going to practice. Here we go. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to try? Who wants to try practicing this conversation? Any volunteer tonight? Okay, Jacqueline and Ronaldo, can you please? And in the next time, uh, Xiomara. Okay, Rolando and Jacqueline first. So, Rolando, you are Peter, and Jacqueline, you are Mandy. You can start. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Uh, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. He had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live here? I lived there for two years. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, now, ¿cuánto tiempo esperan a una persona? 
¿Cuántos Depende. minutos le dan para que llegue? Five Depende. minutes? Ten minutes? Depende. Depende de quién esperes. Ah, ok. Depende. Depende ya, de quién Ya sea. que ya me dio la razón. Ajá. Depende. Ah, ok. Bueno, no más de 15 minutos o 5. ¿Ya les ha tocado esperar? Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Uh, the last two want you to practice in this small conversation. Okay, and I have two, Xiomara and Stephanie. Thank you so much. So, Xiomara, you are Peter. Stephanie, you are going to be Mandy at this time. You can start, please. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. How you chose a personal jet? I can't decide. Have you ever ate ate Marrakesh food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's a delicious. I'll had a uh, several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand and I am a teenager. I ate it a longer. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent practice, thank you. Now, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? What about you guys? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? ¿Ya han probado este tipo de comida? Yes, I have or no, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. The Moroccan um, food is similar to Mediterranean, la comida Mediterránea. I don't think so. I guess it's different. I guess, right? Because there are two different places. But I'm not so sure. Uh, what about Thai food? Have you ever had green corn? In this case, have you ever had Thai food? Have you ever had Thai food? ¿Han probado la comida tailandesa? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And what about Chinese food? Have you ever had Chinese food? Yes, I have. Okay. What about Mexican food? Have you ever had Mexican food? Yes, I have. Okay. Let's go with the next. Okay, now I have this information here. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto para un tiempo indefinido en el pasado. And the simple past para un evento específico en el pasado que ya terminó. So, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? And say, yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Let's listen to this example. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Question in this part, do you have any doubt in the question? 
So how do everything eat in Moroccan food? So yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. This action has already finished. Sí, comí una vez en París. Ese evento ya terminó. It's in the past now. No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. So, hasta el momento no ha sucedido. Entonces, todavía tiene que ver en el presente. No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. Have you ever had the curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Probé muchos hace años. Es una expresión. Years ago es una expresión de tiempo específica. Entonces, es pasado simple. No, I haven't. I've never had it. The same case. Nunca lo ha hecho. O sea, hasta el día de hoy, el presente no, no ha probado ese tipo de comida. Let's take a look. Present at perfect one. versus. Okay, here we are going to see the differences between the present perfect and the past simple. So look at this information. Unfinished action that started in the past and continue to the present. Este es el primer uso del presente perfecto. Acciones que no han terminado, que comenzaron en el pasado y continúan en el presente. I've known Julie for 10 years and I still know her. He conocido a Julia por 10 años y la sigue conociendo. And I still know her. Todavía la conozco. Finish action. I knew Julia for 10 years, but then she moved away and we lost touch. Aquí ya terminó la acción, ¿verdad? Bueno, porque ella se mudó, se fue lejos y perdieron contacto. Then, simple past. I knew Julia for 10 years. La conocí, ¿verdad? Ya no más, ya no tiene contacto con ella. Ha terminado la acción en este caso. Segundo uso. A finished action in someone's life. When the person is still alive. Alive. Life experience. Cuando una acción, ¿verdad? Una acción finalizada en la vida de alguien, cuando esa persona todavía está viva. O oh, experiencia de vida. My brother has been to Mexico three times. Y es una acción repetitiva. My brother has been to Mexico three times. Pero él todavía está vivo, o sea, podría ir una cuarta vez. I finish, I finish action in someone's life when the person is dead. Vamos a utilizar el pasado simple cuando la persona ya falleció. Then you say, my great grandmother went to Mexico three times. Ya no va a poder ir una cuarta vez, entonces ya es pasado. A finish action with a result in the present. Una acción que ha finalizado, pero tiene un resultado en el presente. I lost my keys. El resultado es que no puedo entrar a mi casa en este momento. Just give me a second, please. Thank you. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I just mentioned this. I'll finish action with a result in the present. Una acción, ¿verdad? En el que ya terminó, pero todavía tiene una, un resultado en el presente. I lost my keys. I lost my keys. He perdido mis llaves. Then the result is that I can get into my house now. No puedo entrar a mi casa. A finish action with no result in the present. O usamos el pasado simple para una acción que terminó y que ya no tiene ningún resultado en el presente. I lost my keys yesterday. It was terrible. Okay. With an unfinished time work. También utilizamos el presente perfecto cuando estamos utilizando una, una frase o una palabra de tiempo no definido. Por ejemplo, this week, this month, today. I've seen John this week. He visto a John. Esta semana no especifica qué día, qué día de semana. Y el pasado simple lo vamos a utilizar con una palabra de tiempo definido. Last week, last month, yesterday. 
For example, I saw John last week. Vi a John la semana pasada. Do you have any question in this part? No. No questions? Okay, then let's try to solve the next exercise. Simple past or present perfect. Last night, I have lost my keys or last night I lost my keys. I have lost. I have lost. Hmm. Anyone has another opinion? No, 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 no. Simple pass. It is simple pass. Okay, why simple pass? Yes, you are right. It's simple pass. Yes. Why? Why? Okay, last night. Es una expresión de tiempo específico. Entonces, necesitamos pasado simple. So, you say, I lost. I lost my keys. Last night, I lost my keys. The second one. I have lost. I have visited three times. Visited. Present perfect or simple past? Present perfect. Present perfect. Why? Why present have... perfect? Todavía no ha pasado. I have visited Paris, Paris three times. Porque es una acción repetitiva. I have visited Paris three times. Número tres. I have known Yuli for three years. Okay. I have known. Is it okay? No way. No. It's like this one. Okay, is it okay? I have known Julie for three years. Is it okay? Yes or no? Number three. What about number four? Later. Later. Simple present or present perfect? Simple, uh, simple past. Ah, oh, perdón, simple past, yes, I'm sorry. Present perfect or simple past? In simple past. I played. I played the soccer since I was a child. Um... ¿Es una acción que ya terminó o todavía sigue en el presente? Sigue en el presente. Sí. Ah, pues, present perfect. Ah, ok, es present perfect porque todavía probablemente juega hockey. ¿verdad? Entonces es present perfect. I have played. I have played hockey since I was a child. He jugado hockey desde que era un niño. Number five. What do you think? Present perfect I, or simple past? I have seen. I have saw. I have seen Yuli three times this week. I have, I have seen. seen. I have seen Yuli three times this week. No es un tiempo específico. This week. Es, un, es indefinido. Eh, she in London since 1994. She have life. She lived have life. She lived in London since 1994. 
Okay, this person is still live in, live in London. So, no ha terminado la acción. Is it that simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. She has lived in London since 1994. And number seven. I drank. Oh, say simple pass. Why simple pass? Drank. Okay, drank. But why is this sentence in simple pass? Drank. Drank. I drank three cups of coffee. Yesterday, como dice ayer, ¿verdad? es una acción que ya terminó. Then, simple pass. Do you have any question? No. No, okay. I need one volunteer to read sentence one, two, and three, please. Who wants to help me? Any volunteer for reading Sentence one, two, and three. Okay, thank you, Yancy. Last night, I lost my keys. Yes. I have visited Paris three times. I have known Julie for three years. I have played Hockey since I was a child. I have seen Julie three times this week. She has lived in London since 1994. I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. Yesterday, pardon. Excellent. Thank you, Yancy. Very good job. Thank you so much. Then let's go with the next exercise. Just give me a second. Here we go. Now we're going to complete this small conversation. With present perfect and simple pass. The first one. Uh, can you tell me to complete the first question, please? Have you ever, have you ever sung, pardon, have you ever sung a birthday party? Okay, have you ever sung in a birthday party? In a birthday party? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I sing. I sing. It's simple pass or present perfect in the answer? Let's give me a second. Present perfect. Okay, once. I once on my birthday. Present perfect or simple pass? Guys, simple pass. Simple pass, right? So you say I sun. I sun once on my birthday. The next, the next small conversation. Have you ever lost? Okay, have you ever? Lost. Lost. Has you ever no, lost money? Oh, okay. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. But my mom Thank you, Rolando. Lost. But my mom lost $100 once. <laughs> Have you ever lost money? Alguna bueno, vez. Gordo, lo de puesto, le cambió la ropa en el sillón. 100. 
colores. Uh, 100. Ok, really? colección. Lo guardé en un libro. <risa> y perdí el libro. Y se perdió. ¿Y cuánto de libro se fue? <risa> bueno. Have you ever lost money? No, I haven't. But my mom lost 100 dollars once. And the last small conversation. How have you ever? Okay, say, have you ever crash? Crash is regular or irregular? The verb crash. Regular. Crash it. Okay, it's a regular. Yes, crashed. 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 A car. Have you ever crashed a car? Yes. Yes, I have. Once I, simple past or present perfect. Simple past or present perfect. Hello, Rolando. Simple past. Simple pass, okay? Once I crash. I crashed my dad's car. Ni siquiera la del Y lo fue a chocar. Eso lo bueno. Al papá le tocó la reparación. Yeah. Sí, sí. And what about you guys? Have you ever crashed your car? ¿Alguna vez han chocado? Once, time. <laughs> Once, ok. No, I haven't. Si un man dice, no, I haven't. Ni quiero, dice. sale caro eso. <laughs> Hay que revisar los frenos. Ok, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to be A? Hey, ¿Quién quiere hacer las preguntas? Any volunteer? Thank you, Rolando and... Anyone? Any other volunteer? Okay, I have a Just give me a second. I'm going to see. Yeah, Kelly, this I can see. Okay, <laughs> Stephanie, <laughs> Rolando and Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, can you please read the question and Rolando the answers? Help me with that, please. You can start. Okay. Have you ever done in a birthday party? Uh, yes, I have. I sang once on my birthday. Have you ever lost money? No, I haven't, but my mom lost 100 ones. Have you ever crashed a car? Yes, I have. Once I crashed my dad's car. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent. That's the pronunciation of the bear crash in simple past. De acuerdo a las reglas que vimos anteriormente, es con sonido de T, de D o I para pronunciar el pasado de ese verbo. Sí. Es crash down, crushed. Okay. Say crushed. Thank you. And the last two volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants? Who wants to practice? Thank you, Jacqueline and. Any other volunteer? Jacqueline and Xiomara. Thank you, Xiomara. Alejandra and Jacqueline. Jacqueline, can you please read the question and Xiomara the answer? Xiomara, have you ever sung in a birthday party? Yes, I have. I sung once on my birthday. Have you ever lost money? No, I haven't. But my mom lost uh, 100 once. Have you ever crashed a car? <laughs> yes, I have. Once I crashed, uh, crashed my dad's car. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Xiomara. Let's complete the next to a small conversation yet. Let me raise those. Here we go, Oscar, tell me. May I say something, teacher? Yes, please. Uh, today I was talking with American people, teacher, and I realized that they 
they instead of verb to be used to use ain't. Is it correct, teacher? Um, instead of the verb to be, they use they use a uh, ain't a i n a apostrophe t ain't like this one a n a n o sea pero a i n apostrophe t ain't i to say this así a i n t Ah, ok. Esa es una construcción Ain't. de... ¿De esto? Ajá, pero si necesitaban decir este, you are, I am not, etcétera, etcétera, todos lo estaban, eh, todos todo utilizan el line, el line. I am. Y eso es, ajá, y eso es slang, teacher, o informal? It's uh, informal, that is informal English. Es la like en español, right? Que adecuamos algunos sonidos, right? Ellos lo hacen en inglés también, so I'm. And it means the same. It, so you can use it too, right? But it's informal. Sí, porque escuché que alguien estaba haciéndole, por decir you are, estaba you ain't. El otro por decir I'm not, decía ain't. O I'm. sea, entendí que todo el verbo to be lo sustituyen por ain't. Mm. Cuando ellos están hablando así de rápido, ¿verdad? se escucha casi el mismo sonido. Ay. Y la pregunta mía, y la pregunta mía es, es correcto aprender todo eso, teacher. Yes, it is, right? Because if you speak with an American, so okay. you need to understand, right? And if you can, you can speak like them. Tienen que hablar como ellos lo hacen para que lo entiendan mejor. Then if you can practice this in formal English, it's okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, if, if you can practice in formal English, it is going to be help you too. De hecho, si usted I viaja get... a los Estados Unidos, probablemente el inglés informal eh, lo va a escuchar ¿verdad? en la calle, en la mayoría de lugares. Then why not to practice it? ¿Por qué no practicarlo, verdad? So you can do it, right? Thank you, Oscar, for your comment. That okay, was very thanks. interesting information. Thank you so much. So let's complete this. Let's complete this to a small conversation. Tell me, please, in the first one. Have you ever? Okay, it's have again, have you ever? What seen, is the past seen. participle of see? Seen. Yes, I have. So I, simple past, present, perfect. I see, simple past. Uh, I see. Like this one? Uh, yes, no. I so. Ah, okay, thank you. I yes, saw. So. I saw J Lo last year. Who's J Lo? Jennifer Lopez. Okay, excellent. So. And the last one. Have the you same. ever? Have ever. you ever? Regular or irregular? Regular. Okay, so we need to add it in. Failed. 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 How failed. do you fail? How do you fail a subject? And I no, haven't. I haven't. haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I have. I have. Present perfect. I have never filed. failed a subject. Okay, now you guys have you ever seen a famous singer? Han visto alguna vez algún cantante famoso? 
Do I have it? No, no, you haven't. Uh, have you ever failed a subject when you were a student? Cuando eran estudiantes, ¿alguna vez no aprobaron una materia? Sí. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, teacher. Yes, at the I university. have. Okay, the university. at the college. At the college. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the college, some subjects are really hard, very difficult. So I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to help me? Who wants to help me? Okay, Jacqueline and any other volunteer? Rolando, this <laughs> Thank you, Rolando. So, Rolando, can you please read the question and Jacqueline the answer? Okay. Have you ever seen a famous seeker? Yes, I have. I saw jail last year. Have you ever filed a, a subject? No, I haven't. I have never filed a subject. Okay, thank you so much. So do you have any question about the differences between the present perfect and the simple past? No questions? Okay, no, just, for, for okay. the moment, no question, teacher. No question, okay. <laughs> just remember that the present perfect Es una acción que comenzó en el pasado y todavía permanece en el presente. Y el pasado simple es una actividad que ya terminó, que está completada, es completa. Es una actividad que ya se completó. Eh, ahí necesitamos el pasado. Simple past. Si todavía tiene algún efecto en el presente, then we have to use the present perfect. If you don't have any other question. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. See you tomorrow at nine o'clock, okay? And please don't forget about the section number five and also the final exam. Si ya terminaron la plataforma, excelente. Eh, Jan, si tenía una pregunta con la plataforma, ¿se acuerda qué ejercicio es para ver? Sí, es este, permítame que, que por cierto aquí la tengo abierto, es la sección, es el, es el examen final Entonces, okay. o en el chat lo puede escribir mañana si gusta y le ayudamos. Sí, también. Lo que pasa, lo que sucede es que es, es que es más de redacción. No, ya, ah, ya me okay. quebré la cabeza. Sí, sí por gusto. Creo, ya me eh, pasa, sí. ¿Cómo ya me es? Pasado, Who's Jason sitting to the next person ah, on the coach? No lo, bar, no lo acepta. ¿Cuál no es el bar, barata moviendo la copia? Ah. <risa> eso es, eso ah. es lo que no, no me acepta. Bye, este, ah, es, ¿Cuál pasa. es? A, B, C, o D. Or, e, or e. ¿En cuál ejercicio del examen final? Ya, ¿sí? Es el 4 final. This one? Sí, ese. Me parece. Uh, no. Ese es. No, yo creo que sí. Es gorgeous. Ya no, sí, es it. No, es el último. Eh, uh -huh. Number four. Sí. Ese es. Ah, ese. Ah, sí está fácil. No, no, no. Es de la, no, ah, no, okay. no, no. Es la sección, es el examen anterior. Ah, intermedio. Don, ajá, el cuarto. El cuarto. Little D. D. Entonces es el último. El, el que hay que ordenar las palabras. Teacher, no es ese. ¿Es el meter? No, es el examen. No, no, es, es el, el cuarto. Ah, ese, 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 ahí, e ahí. Ese, 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 ese. Mm. Right en el, en Anes. Rambo, uh, último. One person next the Jason coach who's to the sitting to sitting the. Entonces yo ya lo ordené muchísimas veces. Okay. <laughs> ya casi así como Tim Marín de dos y nada, es decir, nada, no acepta. Y no es el apóstrofe. 
It could be who's the person sitting. Who's the person? Who's the person sitting next to? On on the next on the couch. Okay. And Yes, on the couch. Sitting on the couch. Uh -huh. Next to Jason. On the couch. Next to Jason. Y no lleva punto. Se lo voy a copiar en, yes. el, en el chat. Ah, Esa okay. fue mi muerte. Eh. Esa fue <laughs> mi muerte, teacher. El punto. Si no fue Rolando que me salva la vida con el punto. Es pregunta. Ah, okay. Es pregunta. It's a question. Por eso que yes. no lleva punto. Ahí está. Who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Next to Jason. Ahí está en el chat. ¿Ya había intentado esta opción, Jancy? En el, en el chat puede copiarla. Todas. <risa> Todas. Ah, es decir, pero... no le digo que ya aparecía Tim Marín de dos pingües. <risa> Ay, no, ya me cansé, ya no sé qué más hacer. El apóstrofo pues, muchas veces sucede un espacio blanco. No, pero eso lo tengo resuelto. Pero bueno, voy a probar ahorita, así como usted lo ha escrito. Ahí y es todo no. lo que me hace pero, falta. Pero, pero, Sería, pero, pero, who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? Ok. Si por un espacio que uno deje, teacher, se lo pone malo. Se lo pone malo o un punto, ¿verdad? See you later. Okay, thank you so See much. See you later. God bless you, everyone. Good night. Goodbye. Bye. Funcionó, Yancy? Hola. Disculpe que me, me sacó la plataforma. Ah, ok. Funcionó. Si no, aquí lo dejó Rolando escrito en el chat. Sí, y sí yo, le, yo le confirmo en el chat que sí se ah, pudo. Ah, okay. Muchísimas gracias. Bueno. Feliz noche a todos. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow.